need to film this exciting moment. Okay, okay. Uh, welcome to iPhone. Should I come to get stuff? Yes, I do in Pasco. <laughs> What's up you guys, it's Jenna, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys everything about my new iPhone XR. So I've already technically unboxed it because they did that at the store, at the T-Mobile store, because we did it. We had them do everything because we don't know what we're doing. So it's technically already unboxed, but I thought I would show you me unboxing it because I'm also going to show you guys like what's in the box. So here's the box. And in 2020, all the iPhone boxes are a lot smaller because there's less stuff. And then my phone is in it. There she is. So pretty. Fingerprints, ew. Whoops. And then in the box, we have this. I don't know what this is for because this part of the cable isn't like a USB. I don't know. I think they changed their box des um, design, so that's annoying and they didn't give us a new box for this, so this is kind of useless unless I buy a new box, which I don't need, but anyways, this charger is completely useless. But anyway, it came with this charger. And then it also came with like little papers like usual, S a sticker of course the little manual paper stuff if you read that <laughs> and then it also came with this little tool that you can use to take the sim card out of your phone which i'm not going to do but yeah and then at t-mobile i did the thing where they can give like put my the screen, screen protector that i buy on there and then it, when i need a new screen protector they can do it for me for free because they put it on. I believe that's how it works. So I got the screen protector that will be linked down below, as well as a case that I got at T Mobile. Um, this is the Tech 21 Clear Pure Clear case for the XR. So I'm just going to put that back on. So there she is with the case. And I did pay for this all myself like I paid for the case the screen protector the taxes on the phone and then I'm going to be paying it monthly just me which is fine because I do need to start like learning about paying my own bills and stuff and budgeting and all that before I'm actually doing that when I'm on my own so now that you guys have seen a little bit of some of the setup from yesterday and me unboxing it I'm going to be showing you guys what is actually on my phone not to, not so much like the layout because I don't really have a layout anymore. Um, just iOS 14 features, XR features, and what's new um, on my homepage that was not here in my last What's On My iPhone video. So I can't screen record my lock screen, but here it is. It is just um, like a cloudy sun uh, rise or sunset background. And then it says lights up and then a quote from the song lights up by Harry Styles. I have this because I love this song. Um, if you look up the meaning, it's really beautiful and just something that we could all use in our lives. Alright. Three, two, one. Okay, so now I am on my home page and if you if I swipe there you can see like widgets show up and I'm only gonna show you this one because the rest of them are just private, like, show my location stuff, and stuff about my school. So, the only really rid rid widgets I have on this page, other than that, is my battery, and, uh, screen time. Which I like, because I like looking at my screen time, even though it's bad. Um, I like looking at it, and it's interesting to look at. And then my battery I like, because I don't, I can't see my percentage at the top anymore, unless I do that, so pretty handy to just have that right there 
So as for my widgets, you guys know this is a new iOS 14 feature. So I have three widgets. Two of them are used through the app Widgetsmith. So let me show you that app. So if I click on one of them, it opens that app. And you can see all the ones I've made. And then there's all sorts of different ones. Like you can see I had one for my steps, just a picture. Um, you can have a calendar one, one that just tells you the date. Like there's so many different types and so many different sizes. And then in the middle I have my Spotify widget. So that will show me some of my playlists and also it will just open up Spotify for me. So like if I clicked um, this icon, it would show me my 2000s playlist and like my throwback playlist. And then this clicks on Harry Styles. This one clicks on Harry Styles too. So that's really handy and I like to have that right there because one, the Spotify widget is really cute and also because I like having my Spotify right there easy to see and stuff because I do use it quite often. So at the bottom, I only have four apps. I have phone messages, uh, Invisiware, which is like an emergency alarm thing I have on my keys. That's the app for it. And then Follow, which is my sister's continuous glucose monitor for her blood sugar because she's a type one diabetic. So I have those four apps down there, easy to reach and just get if I really need to check it. Those are the only apps on my actual home screen because of the app library, which is a new iOS 14 feature. I just feel like it's not necessary to have any other apps on here besides any emergency like type apps. So when we swipe, you get all my apps. They're all categorized in folders per iPhone and Apple's like categorizing styles. So we've got productivity and finance, education, everything. We've got social media, entertainment. So I'm not going to go into every single one of these because you've obviously all seen these apps if you've seen a What's My Apple video. But I am going to show you a few uh, things for the iPhone and iOS 14. Uh, Twitter, I recently got back and I really like. And then Snapchat is private because I don't have a public account. But here's Snapchat. And you can actually check the iPhone quality on Snapchat. There's the front camera. And if I'm just like this, you can see how zoomed in it is. But then I step back and it's fine. And I take a picture. And you can see Snapchat kind of changed the quality when it saved. And let's check the back camera. It's kind of weird because of the glare from my green light. But there it is. It's all zoomed in. These are the, if you're curious what filters I have. There's a B. This one I like because it's cute, like the lighting for this filter by Carson Luters, however you say his name. The butterfly, I don't like this one as much as this one. I love this one. Um, and then of course this one. Let's see what else. YouTube of course. Uh, as I'm filming this, this is my most recent video was my day in my life video. So you guys should check that out now. If you're curious what my homepage is, or my feed, there she is. Lately I've been really loving Hannah Elise, favorite, favorite YouTuber, by far. And then Netflix I also have, I have Lightroom. I'm going to show you guys quickly how I edit my photos. I use a preset that a YouTuber that I really like, uh, sh like, introduced me to. So I'll have her video and the link that she provided in her description down below. Um, but I'm going to show you how I edit the preset for my liking. So she shows you how you can add the preset into Lightroom. I'm not going to show you because I already have it. So I can't really like redo that process for you guys. But anyways, so if you go down to the bottom right and click presets, I use the third one. And as you can see, it's like not great, but if I edit it, it'll be good. So I go into light first and edit the exposure and then effect. And then I go into color and I adjust the saturation as much as needed. Sometimes it needs more, sometimes it needs less. I also edit the texture and bring it way down as well as the sharpening. 
and then I go back to here and then I kind of just edit whatever needs to be really edited so that's how the picture turned out I mean it's not great on your skin all the time but it's for the most part pretty good uh, before after the pic this picture for my in my thumbnail it I used that filter or preset and I think it turned out pretty good so so now let's test out the camera so now I thought I would show you guys a video test of the front camera and the microphone audio uh, so this part of the video will not be edited like audio wise as uh, well as the rest of the video so it'll be a little quieter than, no than normal because I'm not adjusting any volume settings so this is the front camera of the iPhone XR. Uh, I do have my arm a little extended out because the front camera is a little zoomed in. This is with my arm not super extended at all. This is m me in front of my window, so good lighting. And then behind it, which is backlit, which is not always the best. But it's pretty, pretty good. Behind both windows. Pretty good. This is me, same spot with the back camera, um, in front of the good lighting. And then behind. Again, I'm still extending my arm because I can't see for myself like what it looks like. But this is me without it extended. And yeah. One thing I really like about this phone is the portrait mode. I really like it. See how it blurs out. And then also with that here. It needs to find me. So that was with the back camera and then front and what's cool about this is if you go into edit you can actually at the top change the f stop or the depth of the blurriness so you can have it not as blurry but you're still like very in focus and then you can be more in focus and less background so that's pretty cool now I'm going to show you guys Memoji, which is really cool. I think it's the only on iPhone X and above. So if I click on this little thing at the bottom, I'll make sure the screen recording is zoomed in on it. I click on that, and I can be a bunny or a panda. Or a piggy. This one's mine. This is me as me. You can stick out your tongue. You can blink. Like, if you close your eyes, it knows you're closing your eyes. It's crazy. So, that is pretty much everything on my phone. So, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what phone you guys have. Or, uh, if you're looking into the iPhone XR, like, you might get it. Also, make sure to... Subscribe and hit the post notification bell on so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I usually upload every single Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And that hasn't changed lately, so. Be notified. Subscribe. It's all free. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video.